On June 7th, 2020, TikTok user Sidlid uploaded this video. This has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. On June 11th, however, he uploaded a video that was far more disturbing than what I had just shown you. Reportedly, Sidlid, also known as Aiden and what we're probably going to call them throughout the entire video, was parked near Elka Park and Hunter Mountain, located in New York. While he was live streaming, his radio began to play odd noises and while we don't have a clear audio recording due to Aiden's commentary, a good portion of it is audible and what you're about to hear is pretty weird. Guys, I'm I'm listening to my radio right now and for the past like two minutes, this man has been breathing and crying and I heard tape? He sounds like he's in a bathroom? But this is coming through my fucking radio. 89.9. I'm up in uh, Elka Park, New York right now. What is being broadcast? What is this? It's just a dude crying. For like four minutes? I don't know. I was live on TikTok a minute ago and it, it started then. What is this? As you can see from that video alone, Aiden is pretty shaken up by what he is hearing. However, that's not the end of that video, as a few days later, Aiden soon uploaded the second part of that broadcast, assumedly recorded on the same day as Aiden is wearing the same shirt, hat, and is parked pretty much exactly in the same area. Also, his car broke down just the day before this upload, so I doubt he was driving it back on the same spot. This is what he had captured. Guys? <laughs> This is coming through my radio. <coughs> what the fuck is this? Why is there a guy fervently breathing? Like panicking through my radio. How do I send help? What is... He's just been crying and panting for like a minute now. <sighs> Sounds like he's in a bathroom. What the fuck is this? And why is it on my radio? As stated before by Aiden, the Crying Man radio station is 89.9 WKCR, and while many of you might think that this radio station was simply hijacked for a prank, a more niche group of you might think that this radio station itself sounds familiar. But before we dive into that, first let's talk about the former, the possibility of this station being hijacked. See, radio stations nowadays are beginning to die off. The dominance of radio has begun to dwindle thanks to the access of satellite radio, podcasts, and many other forms of entertainment being the prominent source of ad revenue. Hell, some of you might even listen to me on your daily commute. It's really not surprising what with me having such a sexy ass voice and wonderful content. Also, I'm Mexican, so if you don't watch my shit, you're racist. Anyway, the access to more better and more accessible media means that nobody really pays attention to radio stations getting hijacked now, or radio stations at all, so they become an easy target. And because of the advent of better technology and it being more affordable nowadays, anybody can just watch a tutorial online and learn how to hijack a radio for themselves. In fact, you can totally do so with a $35 Raspberry Pi. Disclaimer, I am not advocating anyone hijack radio frequencies. That stuff is pretty illegal, especially if you're going to be hijacking police frequencies and breaking down medical devices, you know, that's, don't do that. But with all that said, any normal Joe can hijack a radio frequency. It's, it's really not that big of a deal so long as you know what you're doing and you have the right equipment. But the thing is, we're not actually dealing with a hijacking here. Fast forward a few days and Aiden comes out with a new tech talk informing everyone that he'd already messaged 89.9 WKCR and they said that they don't even have anything playing around that area where Aiden lives or where Aiden was parked. Guys, so I emailed the station, and it's not fucking them. It wasn't them. It's not them. They didn't broadcast that. What the fuck? <laughs> 
WKCR is a radio station belonging to Columbia University in New York City, which is hours away from where Aiden first recorded The Crying Man's Frequency. Aiden is outside of the range of WKCR, as mentioned by one of the staff members when he had responded back about The Crying Man. What this means, as I'm sure most of you have figured out, is that whoever or whatever broadcasted The Crying Man lives locally in Elka Park. There's someone up there lurking around and running a pirate radio show, be it one featuring a real tortured man or just a sick, twisted prank. It can't really be verified, especially with the lack of clues to go on, but let's assume that this is just a prank or even just an ARG that Aiden is a part of. Is this audio of the crying man legitimate? Some people have suggested that the crying is from a video called Blank Room Soup, a video that allegedly came from the dark web that no one has really been able to solve. It's been around the internet for about 15 years now and has piqued the interests of pretty much everyone that's ever explored any sort of creepy content online. In this video, we see characters Ray Ray, created by Raymond S. Percy, comforting this crying man in the middle of a room while he's eating soup. The crying for a lot of people sounded similar to the crying heard in the original TikTok. <laughs> it's just a dude crying for like four minutes. Thing is, it's not that similar. There are some inflections that differentiates the two cries, and as mentioned by Aiden, the broadcast has been going on for about four minutes or so, and while this video is pretty similar to that, it only lasts for about one minute. There are other videos of Ray Ray doing other creepy stuff, but none of them feature crying men anymore. Anyways, I I'm kind of getting off track here. Billions of other spooky channels have talked about this stupid character. Go watch their dumb videos if you want. Yet I'm not totally convinced that this isn't from a video, because the next part of this broadcast, we can hear a song played towards the end. <laughs> The song is called Taxonomies by Larry Gus. While the song nor Larry himself are important to this case, it is safe to assume that this wasn't some sort of live stream of someone getting tortured because it was so easily flipped to just music. It's very much possible that this audio has a source to it, a scene from a movie, maybe even a video online, maybe it's something dark like someone running away from their murderer, whatever the case, I just don't think that this was live recordings of someone actually crying. So if this crying sounds familiar to anyone, then let me know. What a, that That is the weirdest thing to ask anyone. I, I just realized what I just asked you. That just leaves the culprit of this whole event. The one who is running this radio station for seemingly one day. Could it have been Aiden? Well, I have a really hard time believing that. He seems like a regular dude who does TikTok for fun, not really for fame. I, I mean, I've seen tryhards on TikTok and you can see the patheticness in their eyes and Aiden doesn't really exude that sort of energy. He's just a normal dude who just happened to stumble upon this weird frequency after doing a live stream, something that he often does. Not to mention, he has a day job and a broken car. I really doubt Radio Man, even now, is his biggest concern. And to be frank, I've seen a lot of ARGs in the past, both good and bad, and this just doesn't seem like an ARG. It doesn't really have the bad acting or the weird puzzles or the commitment that I would see in those ARGs that are often very evident. It's just a weird little incident that happened to have been caught by a TikToker and unfortunately nobody else, well, as far as I know. So if it isn't Aiden, then who could it be? Well, like I said, it's easy to hijack a radio nowadays, and for cheap too, but it's even easier to run a pirate station for yourself. You can do it, and with the right tools, a Bluetooth device, and the right know-how, it could be any weirdo, and seeing as how this is upstate New York, well, weirdos aren't really in short supply. Although, there is a mention of a cult by Aiden that lives near the area, an international community known as Bruderhof. 
Bruderhof started off in Germany and has since established small communities all over the world, including Australia, America, and other parts of Europe. They don't really seem cult-like, although watching their video, I mean, it, it definitely feels eerie. Adults work in the kitchen, the community laundry, offices, or the workshop. No one gets paid and everyone's work is valued the same. Yeah, I don't know if I trust a community where no one gets paid and is rewarded for quote unquote hard work, aka communism. But seriously though, they're pretty squeaky clean. Looking into them, the only drama they've ever been involved in happened within their own community, where they had some discourse involving themselves and another community that does basically what they do, but in a more conservative way. I don't think it's really important, so I won't dive too deep into it. Bruderhof reminds me more of an Amish community than a cult, albeit with very culty vibes and with more modern tech. I'm sure they've got their dirty laundry, but probably not as evil as kidnapping or murdering someone, though we can't really rule them out entirely. They do have some people that are tech savvy, and I have no doubt someone within the community could totally run their own private frequency to do their own twisted doings. Yet. To accuse them isn't to accuse the whole. I'm pretty sure the only people that are involved here are just one individual or maybe just two, not an entire cult or Christian community. And unfortunately, that's where our search ends. The clues here are scarce as it is, but fascinating to me nonetheless. Though there is one thing worth mentioning. Remember when I said WKCR might seem familiar to some of you? Well, back around, oh, I don't know, 25 years ago, I think. There was an incident involving this very same radio station back when they had their radio station hijacked and the hijackers were never found. If that sounds vaguely familiar, let me play you the audio. So, yeah, that's kind of weird, and it all happened on WKCR. It was pretty well known for a while, and there were rumors that it was a haunted radio station, and the voice was listing off names of people who died in the past, or people who will die in the future. However, this isn't really the case. The hijacking, as far as I know, never really happened. There are no articles about this incident occurring, no documented evidence of that being true. The only other place, aside from YouTube, where this has been documented was on slash X of 4chan. So, you know, it's fake. However, it can't be a coincidence that WKCR's frequency matched the frequency that had this crying man. It's also noteworthy that WKCR was just a few hours away. This had to have been done intentionally, maybe to pay tribute to that creepy hoax broadcast from 25 years ago that never really existed, or maybe to draw attention from anyone enthusiastic about this sort of creepy content. The only way to truly find out is to tune in to 89.9 in Elka Park near Hunter Mountain. Tune in every day, every hour, and see if this happens again. I can only speculate that this hasn't happened since Aiden's original video, or if it had happened again, it happened at a different time than when Aiden first uploaded this. Who's to really say? Only time will tell. Okay, so quick update because I'm I'm, I'm a loser. <laughs> um, after analyzing Aiden's video, I can actually tell that this is the exact spot where he had recorded this incident. This little parking spot, which this photo was taken around July of 2012, so this could very well be a parking lot. And the reason I know that this is the exact area on the map is because in the background you can see that Aiden is parked in front of a church. And here is the exact same church next to a graveyard. Uh, like I said, this photo was taken eight years ago, so it's completely inaccurate to what was probably shown. There's definitely some things that have changed, but it definitely would seem like this is where Aiden would be parked. And because Aiden does work as a construction worker, and I'm assuming there's construction going on over here, or something of the kind, because he's always wearing a helmet and a vest that is very common with construction workers around the area. 
uh, then I would assume that they they parked over here and is working on a project that's over here. If you want more specifically where he was parked, it would be around this area of Elka Park. So it's right around here in Platte Cove, Plate Clove, sorry, Plate Clove Road in St. Francis de Sales Church at Elka Park. It was right here. Uh, I don't know if anybody wants to just go over there and try and maybe tune into 89.9, see if they can capture exactly what Aiden had captured. You can, but there you go. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. I love you all so much. Goodbye.